members of a local church are seeking help from the public because they say their church is in trouble. Two problems are damaging the building, an expanding creek that's affecting the foundation and repeated flooding. David Hall is live with the story. David. Good afternoon. It's a problem church members have known about for some time, but it just continues to get worse, and now they desperately need some help. This is the Imperial Church of the Nazarene back in 2004. Hurricane Ivan caused the nearby creek to flood the church. Flood waters filled the basement almost entirely and left behind mud, debris, and plenty of damage. This is the uh, wall that we put in uh, when we had the flood. It was up to the ceiling. We had to replace the ceiling. Davy McAfee and other church members were able to restore the basement, but now he says they have another problem. Over the years, the water's been wearing away at the dirt, and uh, that's why we need to try to figure out a retaining wall or something to keep this water back because it's causing the church foundation to buckle. And uh, even the, the porch itself is starting to sag. Inside this church, you can see cracks along the from where the 50 plus members sit on Sundays. It's a great concern of our whole congregation. They're Pastor Angela Kress says she will continue to preach and keep the church going because they help so many people in their community. However, she does admit she does not know how safe or unsafe her building is. All I know is the cracks have gotten bigger. The foundation seems to be pretty solid, but like I said, the, the footer underneath, I'm, I'm sure it, the ground is sinking because of the constant flow of water up against the foundation. Chris says they have gotten in touch with local engineers to try and build a retaining wall. She says her small church just can't afford the $20,000 estimates, even with member tithes and offerings. For now, they are just waiting on God. It's a very important, uh, piece of the community. We care about people. We want to reach out to people. And um, I can't imagine uh, the congregation not being such. Pastor Chris says they set up a building fund at First Commonwealth Bank that you can donate money towards. And with enough money, this church might be able to move to safer grounds. Reporting live, I'm David Hall, KDKA TV News.